This week's tip is about getting the toast in writing. I had a groom several years ago tell me that he was very concerned about what his best man was going to say in the microphone in front of 450 people, 450 close family and friends to this bride and groom. So he asked me to call him up and ask him what he was gonna say. So about a week before the wedding, I did that, but just making it, acting like that I did that all the time, calling up the grooms, checking, with, checking in with them, making sure that they're gonna have the groom to the ceremony on time. That's usually the best man's job, right? And I asked him, so do you have a toast plan? What are you gonna say? And he said, oh, I do have something planned. I'm gonna talk about how beautiful she is and how she's a 10 and she's the nicest girl he's ever dated and I'm so happy they're getting married and he has an amazing wife. And I thought, well, that sounds great. I don't know what the groom's talking about, but I think we're good. So the wedding day gets here, I hand him the microphone. He gets up and starts to talk in front of 450 people. And I could tell that he was a tad bit nervous. And he gets up and says, the groom has always dated beautiful women and, and always had a pretty girl. And even though his bride today isn't a 10 on the outside, she's a 10 on the inside. And she's the nicest girl he's ever dated. And as I hear that and I look around the room, I, I see jaws dropping. I look at the bride's mother's face where she looked like she was going to jump across the table and strangle him. And so I walked to where he could see me and I was waving in the background to get his attention to say like, let's stop talking, stop talking. And so he did and he got down and it was very awkward. And the result is, is if someone asks you to make sure you have a conversation with someone that they're worried, A, maybe they should not make a toast at the actual wedding reception. Maybe it should be rehearsal dinner or ask them to give it to you in writing and make sure that you approve it because you don't want the situation to be so uncomfortable that at the entire night he was walking around apologizing to people saying that's not what i meant that's not what i meant i was just nervous but it was very uncomfortable for the bride and then to top it all off in the video we couldn't include that toast because what bride would want that video on what, no one would want that on video. It was just such a negative comment. So make sure that you ask for the toast in writing and approve it and everyone feels good about it. Did you like this video? If you did, like it, subscribe, and share it with your friends. You can even leave me a comment and if you have a wedding planning question, send it my way. If you want even more great resources to create a productive and profitable wedding planning business, plus some email updates from me that I only talk about in my email, come on over to my website, AngelaProfit.com, and be sure to sign up for email updates. Thank you so much for tuning in to Productive and Profitable Wedding Planning on APTV.